Hey everyone, bye Carl. He never wants to stay for the videos. Anyway, so, um, I was at Lowe's Foods, which is different from Lowe's Hardware. It's a grocery store we have down here that sometimes has uh, some interesting things you can't find in other grocery stores. So anyway, um, I was at Lowe's Foods and uh, saw a soda I wanted to try. It's uh, from Boylan Bottling Company, and it's uh, creamy red birch beer. Uh, like most uh, gourmet sodas, it uses cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Uh, carbonated water, cane sugar, pure birch oils, natural and artificial flavors, vanillin. Not a big fan of vanillin, it's that fake vanilla stuff that, um, last thing I had that had vanilla in, in it was um, the cookie dough bites, the candies, and the fake vanilla I'm not too big a fan of, but maybe it works better in, um, in uh, soda form. Uh, and then citric acid, sodium benzoate. Citric acid, so no kidney stone worry. But I'm sort of wondering why red. Like, is this going to have... Um, it's probably just kind of a ch um, maybe a cream soda, but um, birch thing makes me think it'll taste like uh, root beer or sarsaparilla or something. So let's, uh, let's see how this is. Smells like um, wintergreen. Hmm. It's actually a very pleasing smell. Um, usually when you have um, minty things, uh, mint will come in three forms in candies or breath mints or gums. You'll have peppermint, spearmint, or wintergreen. Wintergreen is usually my favorite, followed by spearmint and then peppermint very last. Um, this smells like wintergreen though, especially like the wintergreen Altoids. I used to carry those around in my pocket like every day for high school because I was um, very paranoid about having bad breath and I had a crush on this girl at the time. Uh, so, <laughs> so for like, I, I want to say like three of the four years of high school, I had them in my pocket all the time. You don't see the winter green ones in stores anymore. I don't know. Anyway, none of this has anything to do with creamy red beer beer. Um, let's see how it is. That's actually pretty good. Uh, that it pretty much tastes like a wintergreen Altoid. Um, I didn't expect minty from birch, or from vanillin for that matter. I was expecting this to be kind of just kind of be like a cream soda, or root beer at best. But this is um, yeah, it tastes basically like a wintergreen Altoid. Uh, not as um, not as powerful like a wintergreen Altoid could sometimes burn your tongue if you had too many of them. Sometimes I take like three at a time because I really like the taste and eat them like candies. Yeah, that was probably not healthy or good. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty good. Hey, Carl, you want to smell? Smell, smell? You can't have it, though. Hmm? Does it smell good to you? Yeah, you're not too crazy about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is actually very good. Um, so it came in glass bottles. It came, um, has a four-pack. And, uh, so now I'll have three others after this. Um, what are the bottles of these? Oh, 12 ounces, so about the average for a soda bottle. Kind of wish they came in, like, 16 or 20. I take, like, a lot of liquid that I need to hydrate myself. I don't know, probably because of the high-salt diet that's going to kill me when I turn, uh, 38. I got four more years to go. It's fine. Uh, so... <laughs> so, that's about it. Um, yeah, if you see this in a store, I definitely recommend it. It's if you like, um winter green type of taste if you used to like those Altoids back when they had them. They're probably still out there too. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. And this was a